My name is Fancy YouTube, and today I'm doing a set review for the Lego and Dragon Movie Spinjitzu training set. So, to start off, I'm just going to take out this. This is just the thing I made uh, by myself. It's a Spinjitzu Tornado for Zane. As you see on the box right there, it's built out of this piece connected to that. And then a stud connected to a to our Kima key piece. Then there's this connected to a three long axle, which connects to these parts over here, that connects to this, which connects to that, and then Zane just goes like that, as you see in the box there. So it's just a fun thing I built to kind of show um, the same image on the box. And so looking at this, um, I think it's pretty cool. It comes with two minifigures, Kai and Zane. And we'll use it for a sec. So we'll start with the um, characters and then we'll go into the other stuff of this set. The characters that come in the set which are Kai and Zane. So I like their printing. Um if you could see well I'm not sure if you can but if you could read in Jago language, um you, you'll know that on Kai's um I guess torso it says fire. That's pretty cool. On Zane's it says ice. And yeah, so it's pretty cool in this. Um I like the torso printing is because it's kind of like Zane's is different than Kai's because it has like this down there and then has a belt in the middle. Kai's has a belt at the bottom and then a different design on the top. The legs look pretty cool. I think Zane's looks a lot like Master Wu's um, and Kai's looks pretty cool with those diamond printings on the side of it. We could see that. Kai's is basically just like that, and Zane's helmet is all white, but Kai's has black and then just a red scrape on the top. There's no arm printings, so on the back of it we can see Kai's pack to hold his swords, and then Zane's arrow pack there, and it looks pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the back without those later. The side, same as the other side, and there's a front. So now I'm going to take off the packs at the back to show you more of the character. So got Kai and then So Kai is as you can see it's pretty cool. It's got the dojo kind of symbol on the back. It's not much detail but the belt design continues on the back which is pretty cool. Um and it kinda has that shirt sort of thing if you see and he also has an alternative face, which is pretty cool. It's his happy face. The other side is like kind of angry training face. So that's pretty cool. Space Point actually has the spandex right there, because like kind of referencing to the show. And Zane's back is basically the same. The belt continuing here, except there's a black stripe at the top. And Zane's alternative face is also a happy face. So that's pretty cool. Next, we could move on to the training things. For the, for the training things, I thought I could also put them on this character spinner. So we have all of these things, and then this thing, which I'll get to later, so I'll put that behind here. So, one of them is kind of like a dummy thing, and it like spins around. It doesn't actually spin when you hit it. So these are locked in, and this is actually because, um, if you take out this part, you see that it's connected to an axle here, and can't really take it apart, but these parts are also connected to that axle. And they have an axle hole so they can't spin, but it still looks pretty cool, like this. So, this is the YouTube view of it. Um, next is this kind of sword holder. I'm not really sure if it's a training thing, but you can actually take this part off, and it's the place that holds the two swords. Um, it looks pretty cool, although it's really small. Let's put that on sideways. Um, and I like it, it kind of shows kind of um, how Kai's backpack would be to hold the swords in the actual show. It's pretty cool. Kind of reference to that, this C60 view. So it has that on my two black tail on top. Then for the third part, it's kind of like training against Garmadon. Because this thing's supposed to look kind of like a Garmadon dummy. And if you actually look on the back of the box, yeah, there it is. On the bottom there, you can see Kai is. Like, basically took in the Helmet of Shadows, is what I like to call it, just because that's what it looks like from the show. And it was used to, um, 
Okay, so Stone Warriors. That could be a reference, or it could just be a Garmin training dummy. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool anyways. And, yeah. And so, I'm just, I could just take them all off here. And that kind of broke, but I'll, it's okay, I'll fix that later. So, here's this one. And then the other two are pretty simple to take off. Let me take these off. And so for this one, it's pretty cool. As you can see, it has these two so things on the side that Kai and Zane could hold. You put those back. Um, has this lantern on top. It's built pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, behind it has this whole big thing. This it's a big shaft there, and then there's this red circle there. And it's pretty cool with these kind of window pieces used to kind of like invert the walls and make it different colors. That's pretty cool. And at the back we see this part there. And I really like that. Then if we look over at the front, there's also this scroll that you could take off. So I sometimes I guess have a bit of trouble taking it apart. Okay, there we go. It's okay if it breaks. It's really, really easy to put back together. So... This is a scroll. It looks pretty cool. So it has these parts here, and these side parts has a scroll. Same with the back. And then at the back, you see one by two tile with some more one by two tiles with a axle hole in it or a, uh, a peg hole, I think it's called. And then you see this is two by three printed tile of the scroll. And there's that symbol we see on every ninja's back. Plus, if you can't read in Jago writing, it says Dojo at the top, and then the bottom says Wu, so I guess it's Wu's Dojo. Um, that's pretty cool. Just scroll back. And, yeah, so this looks pretty cool, too. And I really like these training stuff. I think they all look really cool. And, actually, um, I got a bit bored with this set, so... Because it doesn't really do anything, so I decided to create my own thing for the set. This was created out of all the extra pieces. So, is this little thing kind of like uh, a weapon holder? The top is this blade thing that was extra from here. And I think it looks pretty cool. Um, if you want to learn how to build it, it's basically just this one by one plate in beige. Then you go to place. Oh, uh, sorry about that. And you place on this brown stud. Oops. And then place on a one by or just a one technic beam. Then you can place on this uh, axle thing. And then actually you can place on the, the um, handkerchief piece of extra from the same handkerchief. And yes, it does come with an extra handkerchief for each of them. And that's pretty cool, because I never knew this, because the only place I've ever gotten these handkerchiefs was in the collectible minifigure series, and that obviously doesn't come with any extra pieces. So it's pretty cool how we get access to those. And then you just place on the stud with the hole in it. And then to finish it off, you just place on the weapon. So it's a really cool training thing that I just made. Um, I think I like it because it actually made it out of just the extra pieces and that was a pretty good challenge but I managed to use all of them and it turned out really well. So if you haven't already put all the extra pieces in your LEGO collection maybe you could consider building this because I thought it was a really cool addition to the set but I think that'll be it for this video. So, so let me get Kai and Zane in there. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And definitely let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I know I really like the set. It's a really cool set in my opinion. It has so much really cool things. And even though it's small, people might say it's boring because it's just like training. There's no bad guys or anything. I thought it was pretty cool. And it's a pretty cheap price to get Kai and Zane. So, yeah. And you can also tell me what you think about my little build that I made with the extra pieces. But that'll be it, so I'll see you guys later on LEGO Channel 62.